I'm Will Greenwald, and you're watching Loot Drop on Geek.com. I've covered video games for years, and over that time I've accumulated some video game promotional material. Publishers just send stuff out to hype up their game, and while most can be readily explained, some is super weird. Unlike other Loot Drops, this isn't about geek things you can buy, though you might find some things on eBay, which is cheating. They're just given out to some publications to promote games. In fact, let's start off with one of the weirdest. This is a nutcracker promoting Bulletstorm, the criminally underrated first-person shooter that let you do trick shots to get points and starred a creatively foul-mouthed Steve Bloom. It's painted to look like one of the crazy people who attack you in the game. And why is it a nutcracker? Because one of the trick shots you could do in the game was shooting a guy in the junk. Test a kill! Compared to that, this tankard downright makes sense. It's a pewter flagon Bethesda Softworks gave out during a promotional event for the Elder Scrolls Online during PAX East a few years ago. It's a really neat event that they open up to fans. They rented out this big space and set up a sort of fantasy marketplace. You could try the game and do other activities to earn little coins with the Elder Scrolls Online logo. And you could then trade in these coins for swag. They're like arcade tickets. And I wonder if Bethsoft will do something like that for Fallout 4 with bottle caps. That would be cool. This is perfectly reasonable if you remember your more obscure and not quite beloved Legend of Zelda games. The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the DS was a cool sequel to Wind Waker, but it relied too much on the touchscreen for controls and you had to backtrack constantly to the main dungeon with a time limit and it wasn't very fun. Still, this is a Phantom Hourglass. Or at least it's a regular hourglass with the Phantom Hourglass logo on it. Splatterhouse was a gory series of arcade games back in the day of the TurboGrafx-16. I'm not calling it the PC Engine. And it got a now forgotten reboot on last gen systems. To promote it, Namco sent out many versions of the Terror Mask, the evil mask that turned the main character into a giant Jason Voorhees like psychopath. It's not big enough to wear, but that's just as well because it's an evil mask that turned the main character of the game into a giant Jason Voorhees like psychopath. Which, okay, was pretty radical. This Super Saiyan Goku statue was sent out by Namco when they were promoting the Dragon Ball Z game before the current one, which is Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse, and it's a pretty cool game. Before that was Battle for Z, and they sent this, and it's one of the more dangerous promotional items I've ever gotten, because it, he's mostly like plastic, but he's a hard plastic. So these Super Saiyan spikes are freaking sharp. You could seriously hurt someone with just a little bit of pressure. This bad boy is a precursor orb from the Jack and Daxter series. It's the biggest, heaviest promotional item in my collection, and it might be the weirdest. Not because of what it is, it's clearly a resin statue of a precursor orb from the series, which is cool. I mean, I have no idea where it comes from. Naughty Dog didn't send it to me, and I think I got it from a coworker, but I don't remember who, or from where, or when. The base says Jack and Daxter, 10th anniversary, 2001 through 2011, but I could swear I got this in 2010. Naughty Dog re-released this with a different base in 2014 as a limited edition item on their store for the 30th anniversary of Naughty Dog. And I'm just blanking on how I got this. Maybe it is a precursor orb. What is a precursor orb? I never played Jack and Daxter. This is a promotional fly swatter, and it also kind of makes sense. It's for Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon, and it's a game where you fight giant alien bugs, so totally fits. I saved my favorite for last. This is the gauntlet button. I got it at the last E3, and it is a vital part of my professional gear. It's great! Keep watching Loot Drop for more geek toys, collectibles, and mostly things you can buy. Is which makes perfect sense. It's a precursor. It's supposed to come out the other way. 